What's up, fellow traders? Hope you all having an awesome weekend. A weekend update here, but it's not going to be really long video because I've already recorded a video where I've given you a strategy to trade and I've given you a challenge which you follow. Trust me, after that you will see the results. I've already made a video just to show you, which is right here. As you can see, I'm still editing this video, so hopefully it will be up by Sunday or Monday. And with that, an announcement to make. I'll be also launching, like I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, this plan from Monday as well. Members will receive a link for a live session, and I will make this plan live. And if you are still in my standard plan, you will get access to this plan for free as long as you have active standard plan. After that, after Monday, you won't get this option. From Monday, this plan will be live, and to access live session, you need to subscribe to Standard Plus plan. So for Monday, we'll be doing live session for members only. If you have any question or trading any other markets, then we'll do all that in a live session, and it will be recorded. In case you missed it, you will also get access to live session. I'll be going through all every single instrument out there in the market, stocks, indices, cryptos, everything we're going to discuss in the live session. So from Monday, you will receive a link in your email and notifications as well. So today, I'm going to do analysis on natural gas, gold, silver, crude oil, and I'm also going to add cocoa today in this video as mentioned nicely natural gas has broken above in a nice momentum that is what we're going to talk about in this video what to expect fibonacci levels and everything we can expect out of natural gas next week so the first part is going to be really short not as usual because the thing i want to discuss in the first part is just about patience now let me tell you something this week on monday tuesday Wednesday, I had no trades. I have not sent any trades to my members. I've all I was looking at my zones to take my possible trades or an entries above 50 EMA or below 50 EMA. That's the opposite I've done, but I know you got it. So all we are looking at the entries. I didn't take any trades unless I have seen a good setup, and that is what we need to do in trading. Now this was a zone sent to the members last week, not this week, last one. And as you can see, this was a trade I was in since last week, and it hit my profits two weeks later. So that is what we call patient. Otherwise, this was a trade running. I was not in an urge to enter any random trades in the market. I was actively looking at my charts to look for an opportunities. I was setting an alarms and alerts. On my charts to look for an opportunities, not like struggling traders. What they do, the mistakes they do, they start looking for setups, going back on one minute, five minutes, fifty minutes, because they just want to be in the trades all the time, just for a thrill. Trust me, it is not a thrill. It is your hard-earned money, and when you lose it, it hurts a lot. And once I found one setup after this consolidation, I found this nice setup right here. Which I've sent to the member, and this was alert I found on Wednesday, three days after the market was open. Like I always say, my priority group is not a signal group where I forcefully send or create a signal. I want to see an extra confluence. I want to see a good setup. Once I see a good setup, I personally take a trade. And if you are my member or my student, uh, then send these trades to you as well. Of course, I take the other trades as well, which, which I'm going to go through in a very short while. But this was the one I found on Wednesday, and that nicely hitting my take profit right here. As you can see, I've managed it a few pips above and hitting my take profit of 1.4 to 1 targets easily on this one. So you see. How nicely the setup came to us. Now let me tell you the things when the market opens, and if you are actively trading. I thought to just turn on my screen as well. So, when you are trading, all you want to do is just be in the trade. You want to look for the setups, and you want to enter your trade as soon as possible. But trust me, guys, let the setups come to you. Once you have your setups there, only then we are going to take our trades. And as you can see right here. We had a good example of this trade that took a while to form, and I got an alert on my phone. Yes, the price has now closed above, and formed a nice engulfer, a nice uptrend here, as you can see. And why not riding along with a trend the way I teach you guys as well? So one trade here, and that was a winning trade here, and that was sent in the priority group as well. And then what? As you can see, we had no trades throughout the week, but right at the next day, I found one more entry right here. This candle was closed at 10 a.m. UK time, and 
that time I was waiting till my candle, my four hour candle closes and once this candle closes, I'm gonna take my trades. And as you can see, how nicely the price pushed up in a nice trending market. Now for this one, I got some funny messages that price is at the intervention level of Japanese yen because from here the price pushed lower at that point. Now, I was aware with this factor, but that didn't stop me to take my trade. Factor number one, I like this pair and I like entries on this pair. And that is why I want to keep my risk low, but still take this trade. And as you can see, with a nice push down, pull back and with that nicely price pushing up hitting my take profit so only two trades so far in the week and at this point you are like just with a greed of being the trade if you would have entered the wrong trades at the start of the week you wouldn't be able to get an opportunity to enter these trades the one you have just shown you the one happened on wednesday and thursday three days later in the market so that is what the patience is the key that is what i want you guys to learn and understand that in trading you don't need to be in the trade all the time just for a thrill and that is again your hard-earned money you want to invest it wisely next up we have euro new zealand as well right there i've also entered this one with a low risk but still a good trade setup that was discussed also in my discord group where we have students interacting with each other and where we discuss what possible entries if you are my student at mmta you have access to discord group if not just email me i can add you there as well just for mmta course students so this was a good entry i managed to take and that nicely hit profits as well but that was not sent to my members as you can see this entry happened on thursday as well and after being patient we finally got an opportunity to enter these trades and there was one more trade we are still in and market is closed let's see how it opens so the point is take quality trades not go for a quantity because if you take a trades with a good setups look at the market look at the confluences look at the trend and if in a trend you say yes market is forming a condition take your trade if market is choppy try to stay away from my trades because it's my hard-earned money and i don't want to invest somewhere where i'm not comfortable investing according to market situation so that is what i want to discuss we have not much zones that played out last week we're still waiting for the price to get to those zones for possible entries but let's see how it goes next week i'm going to update you guys as well and let's wrap the first part of the video and let's jump on to the second part we're going to do analysis of natural gas gold silver and we're going to go through cocoa and dxy as well starting with natural gas Right, then we're going to start with Capital.com and then we're going to go through Oanda and Nemex as well. So nicely broken above this zone that was expected and heading towards a major level of resistance. I keep mentioning that this is not a major zone and that is likely to be broken and that has happened according to my experience. That is what I was expecting and that is what has happened. Let me show you what I've said so that we can understand conditions and entries. But now the price will likely to break above this zone. I can see a nice bullish pressure and looking at a nice bullish inventory report we have here on natural gas as well. That is why I'll be looking at now to the level above for my next possible push down and price has just formed a 3a2 candle it's still forming once it is closed that will be a 3a2 candle now that is also one of my entry condition but i don't like to enter aggressively from the minor level in this scenario i enter a few pips below the 3a2 candle just to be on a safe side awesome so as mentioned that this zone was likely to be broken that has happened and I've also mentioned that this 3a2 candle can be an entry and that can be a very risky entry and in this type of condition i enter a few pips below and you see the order wouldn't have been hit if you have entered or placed your order a few pips below. That is how we need to analyze the market and have your strategy there. This is my strategy. I don't enter my trade with 3 8 2 candles right at the close. And there are some more rules which I add with that. And that saved me to involve in this trade price just pushed up and now heading towards a level of major resistance so at this point we are way above the zones we have a nice momentum in the ems gap in the ems that shows a good bullish pressure and bullish momentum so at this point all i'm going to do grab my fibonacci tool from high to low so i'm going to use the lower levels at this point looking at the situations something like this now again aggressive entry will be 50 percent retracement with a buy limit order take profit can be 786 retracement and then final targets can be 1.618 retracement now if you remember we took this trade recently i'm going to place it again from top to 
the upper level of Fibonacci retracement. Right here is nicely aligning with the level of resistance. We're going to use here a 50% retracement, which is right here for our buy limit order for aggressive entry. Remember, that is aggressive entry and aggressive entries are always risky. That is why you need to be very careful with your risk management and stop loss can be below this pattern. And take profit one can be 1 ATR. Then you can manage it to 786 or 1.618 retracement for your next target exactly same condition a new zone has been broken minor zone has been broken now this is a level 50 percent from where i'm expecting a good bounce if you're an aggressive trader now if you're not an aggressive trader all you want to see a good pullback above 50 ema followed by bullish engulfing candle if you have that we are good to go long with, with a less aggressive entry now also have these zones ready on your charts which is right here 2.498 that goes up to 2.5 nine five now this is the zone if the price falls will be again a very strong entry if the price forms a bullish engulfer within this zone or if the price forms a double bottom within this yellow box in that case that will be a very strong entry in case we have a dramatic push down then i'll still be looking at this level for my possible entries these are the entries conditions i'll be looking at 50 percent retracement for the aggressive entry with the buy limit order target will be 1.618 retracement initial targets can be 1 ATR or 786 retracement less aggressive entry with a pullback followed by bullish engulfer and 1 ATR will be initial targets until when until the price hit my next level of major resistance it is a major resistance which is right up there with a little adjustment right here 2.940 that goes up to 3.130 a zone from where we will be looking for our possible entries bearish entries like bearish engulfers or double top entry condition inverted ambers will be also one of my entries the 382 candles now this is the zone Till when we are taking our entries. Once we are in the zone, only then we're going to take our counter trade. And this is a major zone from where we can expect some big and nice push down before the price will push up if it decide to continue with the trend. Otherwise, this is a zone, a good zone for our possible sell entries. Otherwise, we are still bullish with a good bullish momentum, the good gap in the EMS, and only going to look for our pullback entries. If we are less aggressive trader, wherever we get pullback entry above 50 EMA, I'm going to go long and aggressive entries and less aggressive entry I've already mentioned. Now, here on this platform, the zone has been broken. Now, first, you need to mark the zone below, which is right here, a number in blue on Nemix. For zones entry, for trend continuation entry, we have waiting for the price to come back in this zone forms some sort of condition like bullish engulfer or double bottom entry condition or hammer candle in this zone bullish hammer candle if not from high till the low of this zone something like this nicely aligned with 1.618 retracement as when because 1.618 retracement is also a good level of resistance according to the fibonacci levels so 50% retracement will be your sell buy, sorry buy limit order right here 1.81 1 1.618 retracement will be your take profit too otherwise 786 retracement can be also your first target if the price push down just for initial and small target stop loss i will keep my stop loss below this pattern now the zone above from where we're going to look for our counter trend trades which is here on Emacs is 2.804 that goes up to 2.957. From where we're going to look for a counter trend trade. Now, it is a major zone, but not a strongest one. So, there is a chance the price will hit the zone, give us a nice push down, and then push up again to the big level right up there, which I'm going to mark and readjust in my upcoming videos once the zone is broken. But we have a potential that gas will likely to push up and hit the level above around $3. So that is something for later on. But at this point, look for this condition. I've just mentioned pullback. Entry from the zone will be your entry as well with a double bottom condition as well and counter trades from this zone for your possible entries. So these are the conditions I'll be looking at here on Oanda. Something like this and 50% will be your order if you want to enter again. Enter trades on your own risk. This is just my opinion. Nothing should be taken as any sort of trading advice. Everything is going to be same. Now here on Oanda, the zone is quite far. 3.001, that goes to 3.235. A zone from where we can expect a good push down a good level and a zone from where we're going to look for our counter trend trade. For now, pullback entries and aggressive entries from these areas. And if we have a pullback to the zone below in yellow, which is right here, 2.317, that goes to 2.474. If you have a pullback to this yellow zone, and price form a condition like bullish and golf is a double bottom. I'm only going to go long again. So only long trades with conditions I've just mentioned. Wait for the condition. Be patient. Once we have a condition, only then we are going to enter our trades. 
Next one we have silver and what a nice push up out of silver with a swing low bullish in golfing condition. Let me show you what I've said in my last video so that we can understand conditions and entries. The price closes as a bullish engulfer. That would be a valid buy entry. As you can see, the previous candle is a red candle. So that's what I'm expecting. But that would be a risky entry as price is also overbought. That is why I, I won't be comfortable to enter this trade. But that would be an absolutely valid entry if you want to enter with a very low risk. Now you can use the Fibonacci tool here on silver if you would like to. From the high to this zone. Right, as you can see, we already got... 50% of trade spend, that can be an entry for aggressive trader with a limit order and target can be 1.618 to trade spend, stop loss can be below this pattern. What a blast out of silver and as mentioned that, that is a valid entry condition and price nicely pushed up from here, heading towards a major level of resistance. For here, we have a level of resistance from where we can get a price which is 34.10 that goes up to 36.88 a level from where we can get a possible push down a reversal if we get a bearish engulfers or double top entry pattern within this zone so for now we are broken above and all we can expect some pullback and continuation which is bullish engulfer and keep on taking longs from this level and if you want to plot a fibonacci tool and if you want to calculate the pullback you can also do that as well something like this for aggressive entries 50 percent can be your order take profit can be 1.618 retracement if you would like to enter aggressively otherwise pullback followed by bullish engulfer will be your entry conditions as well so keep an eye these are conditions i'll be looking at expect the level expect a price to hit this zone with a pullback and keep on taking longs we are still bullish for silver if you have a fall in this level then we can get a very likely chance the price will again push up from here i'm also looking at gold and silver ratio has broken below massively right here and heading towards a next level which is a very good level right here, as you can see the number in blue so till the price falls the price will rise on silver and once the price hit this support area and ratio we can start to see a pullback on silver and gold as well exactly something from here we have seen a pullback so that's what i'm expecting i'm looking at silver and, and gold ratio as well so coming back here on gold we are now in a level of resistance it is not a big resistance because we have no other area of value if we look left. So that is why if you have a condition like bearish engulfer, in that case, we can only expect some scalp and just a pullback, which can be around 180. Otherwise, if you have a pullback followed by bullish engulfer, in that case, I'm only going to long and keep on taking longs here on, sell, here on gold. Not taking any sell trades as long as we are above 50 and 20 EMA. Sell trades will be only once we are completely broken below this EMA. All I'm expecting, a bearish engulfer, if we have that, just a pullback, then a bullish engulfer will be the next entry condition and keep on taking longs as price is just making new higher highs and there's a chance after a pullback, price will make another high here on gold. Nicely pushing up here on crude oil and still pushing up to the targets. At this point, we are above 50 EMA. All I want to see is some more momentum above 50 EMA then a pullback followed by bullish engulfer and keep on taking longs from here at this point as now we are above 50 EMA price nicely bounced up from the double bottom pattern which I've mentioned and also broken above 50 EMA now I have these zones ready on your charts which is 78.06 that goes to 79.97 so I will use this zone once we are completely broken above this zone with a candle with a good momentum so let one few more candles close above this zone then we're going to look for a pullback followed by bullish engulfer and keep on taking longs and i'm going to give you the next level of resistance once we have a good momentum above this zone so keep an eye we are likely to be bullish here on crude oil as long as we are now above 50 and 20 ema price reacting nicely from this area of value here on us coco now at this point we are now heading towards an anchor level now i've in my last video i've said that we are completely bearish here on coco and i've said that price will likely retest this level and push down we already had a retest which you, as you can see we had a push down pull back up and then a retest and price nicely pushed down now if i say that the price is going to likely retest that doesn't mean you start buying until the price retest that is a mistake traders do that means if the price retest that will be my confluence to look for my sell entry condition if you have a bearish engulfer here if there is no retest i'll stay back and wait for the price to form or give me a condition for an entry so no retest no entries but i'm now looking at this anchor level which is 6459 that goes to 6680 at this point if the price push down here forms a bullish engulfer just expect little bounce there can be above 
50 sorry below 50 ma and then price can form another bearish candle that will push the price lower so it will still push down but expect a bounce from this little anchor level with that can be double bottoms as well or bullish engulfer and after that price will likely to push lower to the next level of support which i'm going to mark and which i'm going to mention in my upcoming video so expect some more push down from goko till we are in this zone a bounce then a push up and then a push down that is what i'm expecting here on this commodity lastly dxy dxy is pushing lower nicely from the level of resistance that was mentioned a couple of weeks ago so i'm expecting more bearish momentum and more weakening in dollar as you can see i had a nice bearish engulfer here that is also my signal a sell signal we do have these anchor levels from where we can expect some possible bounce but i don't really pay attention for reversals from the anchor level but we do have a major zone sorry a minor zone which is 102.20 that goes to 102.74 if the price forms push down here we can expect some good push down and then a continuation and more weakening in dollar to the next level of major support so now i'm expecting a price to at least hit this level a minor level and then price to push up and give us some bounce and then a continuation so expect some more weakening in dollar till we are in this zone and then we can expect some more strength and then a possible push down we'll see accordingly i'll keep you guys updated as well so that's it for this week's analysis hope you're getting value if yes hit the like button subscribe if you're new so that we can all trade together and trade efficiently again if you're my priority members you'll be added in priority group plus as long as you have active subscription till monday and if you join till monday you'll be automatically added in that group hope you do it green i'll see you guys in the next video have an awesome weekend take care <music>